Here's what's making news now around Indiana. We've been telling you for some time now about an old coal mine in southern Indiana being transformed into a craft distillery. There's more to that story. And with that, our Mary Rachel Redmond joins us. Mary Rachel. That is absolutely right. So last week we told you they're going to be bellying up to the bar at an old coal mine, but there's a lot more to this than just sipping a few adult beverages. Fishers based Land Betterment Corp is turning this defunct coal mine into a distillery. I had boots on the ground about a year ago, and last week I got a chance to catch up with the brains behind the whole operation, and they tell me I wouldn't even recognize the place. All of that dirty coal refuse completely gone and the land. Well, that's been completely flattened and all of the heavy duty equipment you see is all on its way out as we speak. Now it's on to the next phase, the launch of a revolutionary new product called the Land Betterment Exchange. We're actually helping drive capital back into these rural distressed areas by providing a true carbon offset. Um, where most carbon offsets today are big companies like Microsoft and Facebook and, and all these big tech companies that are consuming a ton of energy and to offset their carbon, they have to buy a carbon offset. They have to buy either pay people not to cut down trees or pay people over. And typically this is done in Malaysia and all these foreign countries that nobody has, there's no auditability to them. And so what our passion is at Land Betterment is to drive that capital back into rural distressed America. And I mean, you go into these areas of fossil fuel related industries that have been shut down and start bringing that capital with Microsoft and, and Facebook and these companies, get them to invest in America, get them to invest back into buying carbon offsets that are provided to the U.S. that have good auditability, that are truly benefiting the environment because we're not, we're not paying you not to cut down our trees. They're actually paying us to plant trees and, and also reclaim these environments. And obviously this project is to plant an apple orchard is our passion and our goal, which will help offset the, the, the environment. It's providing a true carbon offset that people can see and touch and feel here in America. And touch and feel in Jasonville. Not only is this former coal mine going to feature farm to table spirits, it will eventually be a destination place with everything from an apple orchard to a honey farm. So All right. exciting so stuff. When, yeah, when does it open up? They're thinking next spring, okay. so not, not too far away. Yeah, a big transformation.